Rafael Varane and Anthony Martial, among the stars whose contracts officially expired overnight as Manchester United Exodus takes next step early in a busy summer at Old Trafford. Nine players, including French duo Rafael Varane and Anthony Martial, have officially become free agents after their contracts at Manchester United expired overnight. And they are joined at the Old Trafford exit by Johnny Evans, Brandon Williams, and Tom Heaton, in addition to a quartet of Academy graduates. All departures have been long signposted but became official at midnight. Standard contracts reach their conclusion on the final day of June. Varena, 31, has interest from a number of clubs, including Serie A New Boys Como, but he is expected to turn down offers from Major League Soccer. I don't know where I will go, the center half said last month. I'll take time to think. A return to France? Everything is possible. I'm at the end of my contract. It's the first time that has happened in my career, so I'll take the time to really think. Marshall spent nine years at United, arriving as one of the sport's most hyped young players, only to perform inconsistently while scoring 90 times across 317 appearances. In a social media address to United fans, he wrote, since I arrived in 2015, I have had the immense honor of wearing this shirt and playing in front of you, the best supporters in the world. You have been an unwavering support through the good times and the difficult. Your passion and loyalty have been a constant source of motivation for me. Evans, meanwhile, could still return on a short-term deal having proved more than dependable back up at center half in his second spell, while a new contract for reserve goalkeeper Tom Heaton has not been ruled out. I'm pretty relaxed about it, Evans said recently. I'll see what the club say over the next couple of weeks, but nothing at the moment in terms of discussions over a new contract, so we'll see how it goes. Williams spent last season on loan at Ipswich Town and could end up at a championship club. Academy players Shola Shortire, Charlie McNeil, Key Plumley, and Marcus Lawrence have all left at the end of their deals. Their departure comes on the day it was announced that United have finally agreed a deal with Newcastle to bring in recruitment chief Dan Ashworth after several months of difficult negotiations. The overnight expiration of contracts for Rafael Varane and Anthony Marshall marks a significant step in Manchester United's ongoing squad restructuring, signaling the start of what promises to be a busy summer at Old Trafford. Varane, a World Cup winning defender with a distinguished career at Real Madrid before joining United, and Marshall, known for his dynamic attacking prowess, are among the stars whose departures underscore the club's commitment to rejuvenation and strategic reshaping. The exodus of these established players not only marks the end of their respective chapters at Manchester United, but also highlights the club's readiness to make bold decisions in pursuit of future success. As United looks to strengthen under new management and reshape its squad dynamics, the departures of Varane and Marshall are expected to pave the way for fresh signings and a renewed focus on building a competitive team capable of challenging for top honors domestically and in Europe. The news of their contract expirations is likely to generate mixed reactions among fans, with appreciation for their contributions tempered by anticipation for the club's next moves in the transfer market. With speculation swirling about potential replacements and reinforcements, the upcoming weeks promise to be pivotal as Manchester United navigates a critical phase in its ongoing evolution under new leadership. As the summer unfolds, all eyes will be on Old Trafford to see how the club addresses the void left by Varane, Marshall and potentially other departures, with expectations high for strategic investments that will shape the team's competitive profile for the seasons ahead. Rafael Varane, at 31 years old, finds himself in a position of considerable interest from various clubs, with Serie A newcomers Como among those vying for his signature. Despite offers from Major League Soccer, MLS, Varane is expected to decline these opportunities as he evaluates his next career move. The French defender's experience and pedigree, highlighted by his illustrious tenure at Real Madrid before joining Manchester United, make him a coveted asset for clubs seeking defensive stability and leadership. 
While Como's interest underscores their ambition to strengthen their squad with seasoned talent, Varane's decision to turn down MLS offers suggests a preference to remain in competitive European football. As Varane navigates his options amid speculation and negotiations, the footballing world awaits his decision on the next chapter of his career. Meanwhile, in other news, additionally on a related note, furthermore, as for turning to elsewhere. In the meantime, moving on. Manchester United legend in talks over surprise return to English football. Latest Manchester United news as Ruud van Nistelrooy's link to vacant Burnley manager role clarified. Former Manchester United forward Ruud van Nistelrooy is reportedly not close to becoming Burnley's new boss despite reports. Reports in the Netherlands claimed that the Dutchman was close to agreeing a multi-year deal with the Clarets following Vincent Company's departure to Bayern Munich. However, Burnley Express state that he is part of a wide conversation and no deal is close yet. It is claimed that Burnley are keen to appoint a big name and the Dutchman is thought to fit that criteria. Van Nistelrooy emerged as the bookie's favorite for the past week ahead of the likes of West Bromwich Albion's Carlos Corberan, Frank Lampard and Scott Parker. Meanwhile, the BBC claim that Lampard and Parker have been in talks with the Clarets over the vacant role. The former United striker has been out of a job since resigning as manager of PSV Eindhoven in May of last year. The lack of support was said to be behind his decision. He spent 14 months at the Eredivisie outfit and enjoyed a 65% win rate winning the Dutch Cup. He previously coached the youth ranks at the club, and worked his way up to securing the first-team job. The 47-year-old spent five years at Old Trafford between 2001 and 2006, scoring 150 goals and registering 30 assists. After leaving the Red Devils, Van Nistelrooy signed for Real Madrid, where he spent four seasons. As of the latest developments, Manchester United fans were abuzz with speculation surrounding club legend Ruud van Nistelrooy and his potential move into management. The rumors initially suggested a surprising twist. Van Nistelrooy, known for his prolific goal-scoring prowess during his tenure at Old Trafford, was linked to the vacant manager role at Burnley. However, amidst the flurry of rumors, sources close to both Manchester United and Burnley clarified the situation. It became apparent that while Van Nistelrooy's managerial ambitions were indeed growing, particularly after successful coaching stints in the Dutch national youth setup, his immediate future did not involve the Clarets. Instead, Van Nistelrooy remained committed to his role within Manchester United's youth coaching structure, where he had been instrumental in developing young talents and fostering a winning mentality. His passion for nurturing the next generation of footballers within the United system aligned closely with the club's long-term vision. For Burnley, the search for a new manager continued, with several other candidates reportedly under consideration. The club's hierarchy was keen on finding a manager who could steer the team through the challenges of the Premier League season ahead, aiming for stability and growth in a competitive league. As for Van Nistelrooy, his name remained prominent in discussions about future managerial prospects, both within Manchester United and potentially elsewhere in the footballing world. His proven ability to understand the game from both a tactical and developmental perspective made him a coveted figure in coaching circles, ensuring that his journey in football management would be closely followed by fans and pundits alike. In the dynamic landscape of football news, the story of Ruud van Nistelrooy and his potential managerial career continued to unfold, with Manchester United supporters keeping a keen eye on the progress of their revered former striker. Recent reports have clarified that despite earlier speculation, former Manchester United forward Ruud van Nistelrooy is not currently in advanced talks to become Burnley's new manager. The initial rumors suggesting his potential appointment had stirred interest among football fans and pundits alike, especially given van Nistelrooy's esteemed playing career and coaching credentials. However, 
Sources close to both Van Nistelrooy and Burnley have indicated that while he remains committed to advancing his coaching career, discussions with Burnley have not progressed to the point of imminent appointment. Instead, the club continues to explore various managerial options as they seek to fill the vacant role effectively. Van Nistelrooy, known for his lethal goal-scoring ability during his time at Manchester United and subsequent coaching experience, has been actively involved in nurturing young talents within the footballing world. His coaching journey has seen him contribute significantly to the development of players, particularly within the Dutch footballing system. As the search for Burnley's new manager continues, attention remains on identifying a candidate who can lead the team forward in the competitive landscape of the Premier League. The clarification regarding Van Nistelrooy's status underscores the fluid nature of managerial appointments in football, where speculation and rumors often precede official announcements.